Richard Donner 1930-2021 Richard Donner was an American director and producer of film and television, and occasional comic book writer. After directing the horror film The Omen he directed the superhero film Superman starring Christopher Reeve. Donner later went on to direct movies such as The Goonies and Scrooge while reinvigorating the buddy film genre with the Lethal Weapon film series. He and his wife, producer Lauren, owned the production company The Donner's Company, formerly Donner slash Schuler Donner Productions, best known for producing the Free Willy and X-Men franchises. In 2000, he received the President's Award from the Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror Films. Film historian Michael Barson writes that Donner was one of Hollywood's most reliable makers of action blockbusters. Contents Early Years Richard Donald Schwartzberg was born in the Bronx to Jewish parents, Hattie, Horowitz, and Fred Schwartzberg. His father owned a small furniture manufacturing business. He had a sister, Joan. Television Initially, Donner wanted to develop a career as an actor. He gained a bit part in a television program directed by Martin Ritt, who encouraged Donner to become a director instead. Ritt hired Donner as his assistant. Later, Donner was on the staff of Desilu, where he directed commercials. He transitioned into television dramas in the late 1950s, directing some episodes of the Steve McQueen Western serial Wanted Dead or Alive and the Chuck Connors Western The Rifleman. During his early career as a director he worked on over 25 television series, including Have Gun, Will Travel, The Fugitive, Combat, Get Smart, The Man from UNCLE, The Wild Wild West, Gilligan's Island, Kojic Tales from the Crypt, and The Twilight Zone, such as the episodes Nightmare at 20,000 Feet starring William Shatner and from Agnes, with Love starring Wally Cox, as well as the serial Danger Island from the children's program The Banana Splits. Films Donner's first feature film was X-15 which starred David McLean, Charles Bronson, and Mary Tyler Moore. Seven years passed before he directed his next, Salt and Pepper, 1968, with Sammy Davis Jr. and Peter Lawford. His breakthrough film was The Omen, 1976. A supernatural horror made in the wake of the success of The Exorcist, the film stars Gregory Peck, David Warner, and Lee Remick. It was the fifth highest grossing movie of 1976. Superman In 1978, Donner directed Superman, the movie, starring Christopher Reeve in the title role. It was a hit worldwide, projecting Reeve to international fame. The film co-starred Margot Kidder, as Lois Lane, Marlon Brando as jor and Gene Hackman as arch-villain Lex Luthor. At the box office, it grossed $134 million domestically. Principal photography of Superman included filming of its first sequel, Superman II. Donner filmed most of Superman II with the expectation he would complete the sequel after the release of Superman. Despite the first film's success, Donner was fired from Superman II. Throughout the filming of Superman and Superman II, Donner had a difficult relationship with executive producers Alexander Salkind and Ilya Salkind and producer Pierre Spengler. The Salkins refused Donner's demand that Spengler be fired. Instead, the Salkins replaced Donner as director of Superman II with Richard Lester, who had worked with the Salkins on The Three Musketeers and The Four Musketeers, and as an uncredited producer on Superman. Following Donner's dismissal, Marlon Brando's scenes were removed from Superman II and much of the film was reshot under Lester's direction. Gene Hackman refused to return for reshoots, consequently, all the Lex Luthor scenes that appear in Superman II were filmed by Donner, although Donner refused to be credited. Rotten Tomatoes summary states that Superman II meets, if not exceeds, the standard set by its predecessor. Donner continued to promote the view that his contribution was superior to the rest of the series. Superman II, the Richard Donner cut was released on November 28, 2006, the same date as the DVD release of the summer film Superman Returns. Citation needed, this version of the film features the reinsertion of Marlon Brando's scenes as jor and relies on a minimum of footage shot by Richard Lester. Post-Superman career Downer had mixed commercial flops, inside moves, radio flyer, and successes, The Goonies, The Lethal Weapon series, Scrooge and Conspiracy Theory. In the case of Superman, it was Donner who insisted the subject of the comic book superhero should be treated straight, that is, portrayed with respect to the fantasy genre's particular conventions and tone, rather than camp. This approach strongly influenced later genre directors such as Tim Burton, Batman, Batman Returns, 
Brian Singer, X-Men, X2, X-Men, Days of Future Past, Christopher Nolan, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, and Zack Snyder, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Zack Snyder's Justice League, who have made successful superhero films of their own. Lethal Weapon Donner's next blockbuster film was the action comedy Lethal Weapon, written by Shane Black. It starred Mel Gibson as a widowed narcotics detective with a suicidal bent who breaks every rule for the sheer joy of it. It co-starred Danny Glover as a calm homicide detective with a loving family in consideration for retirement. The film's action sequences were considered truly spectacular and made the film one of the year's biggest hits. Donner directed six films starring Mel Gibson in total, creating a Lethal Weapon franchise with three sequels. The last of these was Lethal Weapon 4, released in 1998. In an interview in 2000, Gibson described his impressions of Donner. Uncle Dick. He's a great guy, just terrific. Extremely professional. He's an old veteran and has an understanding of film that is the culmination of years of experience. He's got his technical stuff down, his vision down. No matter what you say about Dick, it underrates him. He really loves what he's doing, loves working with actors, and he allows you freedom to explore all kinds of areas. All right, kid, he'll say, and slap you on the back and let you try something, because even he doesn't know sometimes. He's just an extremely charming, talented, great fucking guy. I love him. Richard Donner's cousin is actor Steve Cahan, who played a policeman tracking Otis in Superman, the movie, and played Captain Ed Murphy in the Lethal Weapon movie franchise. Donner had also cast Cahan in some of his other films. X-Men he became the executive producer for the 2000 Marvel Comics film X-Men, then also an executive producer for the 2009 X-Men prequel, X-Men Origins, Wolverine. In addition, Donner's wife has produced all of the films in the X-Men film series under their Donner's company brand. On October 16, 2008, Donner and Lauren Schuler Donner received stars in a double ceremony on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for their achievements in motion pictures located at 6712 Hollywood Boulevard. Comic Books One of Donner's assistants in the late 1990s was comic book writer Jeff Johns. In October 2006, Donner, Johns and artist Adam Kubert became the new creative team on Action Comics, the publisher's most time-honored publication and one of DC Comics' two main Superman titles. Together, Johns and Donner collaborated on the story's last son and Escape from Bizarro World, both of which have been released in collected book form. Downer and Johns also co-wrote a story for Action Comics No. 1000, released in April 2018. Book Release Downer's authorized biography You're the Director. You Figure It Out, The Life and Films of Richard Donner by James Christie was published by Bear Manor Media. The book features a foreword by actor Mel Gibson. Script Magazine described the book as an engaging portrait of a warm-hearted, if occasionally gruff, man who can justly be considered the modern equivalent of Victor Fleming and Michael Curtis, a highly talented, professional director of motion pictures who has thrived in the studio system and made some pretty good pictures to boot. The Directors Guild of America called the book a compelling study of an ebullient, ballsy risk-taker who was a director even before he was aware of it that it captures Donner's joy in doing a job he loves. Death Donner died on July 5, 2021 at the age of 91. The cause of death was not revealed.